Okay, today we are playing a game on Hollywood. We are playing Sigma most of the way through, and I still don't know what SR this game is. It was way too long ago with at, with special guest, my actual human son, or the back half of him at least. There he is. There's the front half. So, let's start the game. So, defending first. I'm um, we I can hear an Irishman talking to me immediately, so we're going to have to mute that one fucking past me. So, they've got a, a, a Hammond, which is inconvenient, because we gotta try and pelt him with the rock when he comes in, you know how it is. We did let our shield break right there, we don't want to let shield break, I know, it's, it's very scary what's happening to us right now. But, uh, don't want the shield to break, because once it breaks, it goes on cooldown, you don't have access to it for a little while. Super didn't matter in that fight because we basically just lost too much ground too quickly. They just kind of marched straight on him, which like, they're playing like a dive comp, essentially, you know? It, it's kind of weird because their dive comp also happens to have Toes and McCree on it, but you can't, oh, that was a pretty sick rock throw. You can't deny, they just fucking ran in like it was a fucking dive comp and we did not slow them down adequately. Um, which was gonna be hard for us to do with Sigma. We are running Sigma as the main tank right now, which I do not like to do. Sigma, I find, lacks too much presence to be played uh, as the main tank. Now we've got two Sigmas, so that's pretty exciting though, isn't it? So we're, uh, oh, there's a Tracer behind us. Good job, Moira. I thought she was gonna die. That Pulse Bomb was on her for so long, I was like, she's just gonna let that kill her. Unbelievable, she didn't die though, great job. So, hit him with the Gravitic Flux, they're all fucking dead now. They're not all fucking dead, but they're basically all fucking dead. Enough of them are fucking dead that they're not gonna keep her fucking squid tentacles. Um, it's the skid's- the, the skid? The squid is a little askew, you might have noticed. We're not fixing that, though. So we've managed to stop their momentum now, which is nice. The f we just have to try and stop them from getting going again. We missed the Hammond that time. As is, you know, this could be going better. They're hitting us with a few cues right there. We get lifted. There's mines under us. McCree's using Deadeye. Baptiste used the amplification matrix, presumably just for fun. So, when the bad men come at you and like four of them push Q, it's not it's not really super favored for you. Um, if we knocked the Hammond out with the rock, maybe it would have gone better, but not, not super likely. So we marched in very bravely to start contesting the point. Unfortunately, our shield broke very fast. We didn't let it actually break. Good job. Ah, it's way too low. Just let it regenerate. A 100 health shield? That's going to do nothing. Try and let it regenerate a little bit more than that. I know, again, it was pretty scary, but like 100 health is like nothing. It's like nothing. You got to try and like maintain uh, your composure under pressure basically when you're playing sigma Let's fucking slam them yeah i would have slammed them already like we go back a little bit i would have slammed them basically immediately like that's pretty set up over here presumably we wanted to try and get uh, as much as we could out of kinetic grass but Man, I would have just slammed those bitches as soon as I saw all four of them huddled together in the corner over there. So they're pretty done at this point. It's just a bunch of squishy people over here. Once the lamp's gone, they're pretty much done. Lucio deciding to use Sound Barrier when the entire fight's finished. And extremely optimal timing from our boy Lucio right there. So, that's great. Now we have a lot of ultimates. They only have a couple of ultimates right now. But a few of them are getting pretty close to charging. But like, we've got, almost got all our ultimates. Moira's using Coalescence a little early. They're not really in here yet. Well, Hammond's in here, I guess. We decide to... Didn't really need to. It's very understandable to want the minefield gone, so we just, like, swooped our shield through it. Two things. We got 250 health on our shield right now when we started doing this. We've already lost half of that, as you can see. That's not a lot of shield health. And a fight's, like, pretty close to ruin right now, so we really don't want our shield to break right there. Also, those mines just weren't threatening. Like, nothing was happening to us. We didn't have to walk over it. When we were using Coalescence, that was probably going to clear out most of them. Didn't need to use the shield for that. It is, of course, very fun to do that as Sigma. Just like, or Reinhardt. Hammond comes in, drops the bombs, and you're just like, nah, 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 nah. 
It feels very good to just whoosh your shield through and clear out the entire minefield. But just because it feels good doesn't mean it's always the correct play. But it will usually be the most fun play. Tragically, the most fun play is also frequently not the correct play. So a few of them push Q on us again right there. Um, two of our team got picked off like pretty early in that. And then, you know, a lot of them push Q at us. We don't have much in the way that can stop them if a lot of them start pushing Q on us because we don't have a defensive ultimate. They do, they have Lucia. And they have Baptiste, which is a pseudo defensive ultimate. You know, it's very close. Ooh. Very scary. Ah, ah, ah. I is very scary situation. Could we have thrown the rock at him? Did we have a rock? We had a rock. Yeah, pretty much. Kinetic grasp is of course the immediate reaction that you have, like danger, oh god. Better to just put the shield in front of you so that hopefully he doesn't just immediately shoot you. And then just chuck the rock at him. Kinetic grasp. It only works if the McCree is kind of bad, but if you clap him in the face with a rock, he doesn't get a lot of say in that matter. McCree can't really dodge while he's using Deadeye. We might have saved that, McCree, that uh, Reaper right there. Good job, us. Um, they've got a May now, which is super inconvenient for Toes. Like, it is just the worst. May Zarya is not very fun, is it? I would have probably used Kinetic Grasp already on this one. It's like, it's looking pretty good, so I can understand why we wouldn't want to use Kinetic Grasp, but like, there's still four of them. That Kinetic Grasp, uh, not Kinetic Grasp, Gravitic Flux would be pretty fucking sick right there. And the fight is still iffy enough that I would have just done it. We're doing it now anyway. This is... It, Baptiste has used his lamp now, so he can't uh, deny us right there. Man, if I see a bunch of people grouped up together, though, I'm just gonna fucking do it, brother. I'm just gonna do it. So we got Arissa now. Fantastic news. Absolutely tremendous. Our team comp just improved by about 500% right there. So now we get to play double shield. Very exciting. Their team, they're not especially bothered about double shield. They're kind of just like, you know, because they're going to kind of do this sort of thing at us. But double shield is still just very annoying, you know? Like, it's still not fun to play against, even if you are playing a very, like, brawly, get-in-their-face kind of team comp. It's still just annoying. It's just still annoying. So Genji pushed Q on them and killed quite a few of them. Great job, Genji. Job well done. Uh, we do keep putting our shield up when it's really low health, like we did right there at 330 health, and did it again there. The thing is that, like, and, like, full 53 health? Oh, no, absolutely not. The thing is that, like, when even if you, like, immediately take it down again, right, you, like, flick the shield up, and you're like, oh, fuck, it's really low, and you take it down immediately, you still stopped it regenerating health during that period. This is going to be even more important to, like, try and, like, not do with Toes, because he's about to get nerfed again. Um, like, if you just, you gotta be real patient with it when it's low, because even if you flick it up for half a second and immediately take it down again, you reset the shield recharge on it, and it's gotta start again. And doing that can end up costing you, like, 300 shield health in the middle of a fight, which is, like, pretty bad. It can very easily be the difference between winning and losing a fight. So, as like, Toes, you gotta be real careful about this, because you gotta do Reinhardt shield management, but your shield really sucks compared to Reinhardt's shield, both in terms of health, coverage, maneuverability. Oh yeah, fuck May, right? Um, oh, and we ate the blizzard. Oh my god, we really fucked that May right there. So we're trying to line this one up. Ah, that's good enough. Um, like, we're probably waiting out the sound barrier as well. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you got his, his, his toes of shield sucks compared to Ryan's in like basically every aspect. So you have to take the shield management to the next level because Toes gets punished way harder for improper shield management compared to Reinhardt because it just takes so much longer to regenerate and he doesn't have as much to work with to begin with. So it's really important for Toes. But not more than Reinhardt, but like you're punished more severely as Toes, I would say, compared to Reinhardt. Now, if you fuck it up with Reinhardt versus Reinhardt, that can be pretty bad, but, you know, there's... A, he, recovery is not as difficult for Reinhardt as it is for Toes, just shield generation-wise. 
So now we gotta try and push our way in. We're doing Reinhardt toes. Fine, it's great. Double shield, you know, it's not the OG. We got pinned. Suboptimal. He did kind of come out of nowhere. I'm not really surprised we got pinned. I don't know if we could have heard the guy. We probably could have done. I'm not listening to the game because an Irishman is talking. And when I hear someone talking while I'm talking, it's very distracting. We've lost both our DPS. We're not winning this fight. We want to just try and get out of this situation. Reinhardt, he's of course not going to get out of this situation. Tremendous news. Symmetra just wasted her ultimate. That's something right there. You know, that is something, if nothing else. Um, their team is fairly inconvenient to play Toes against. Um, we do change in the near future. I think we change to D.Va um, first, and then we change to Winston after that. We don't play much on those heroes. Um, it's basically just Toes. Um, their team is very inconvenient to play against Toes, because there's kind of not a lot of value we're going to get out of the Gravitic flu uh, Flux, Kinetic Grass. I don't I always do this. Um, Gravitic Flux is fine, you know. Gravitic Flux is a consistently, like, pretty good engage ultimate, which is what we're gonna do right now. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? We're gonna get them. Um, now I know we're trying to line it up, which is why this took so long. The thing is that, like, floating around in open space like this for so long, by the time we actually commit to the Gravitic Flux, we've already lost, like, almost half of our health because we've just been floating around in front of Symmetra for a while. Sometimes, you know, you gotta line it up a little bit, but you wanna try and keep that to, like, the floating around threatening it to a minimum because you're a big ol' sitting duck when you're playing Toes, just, like, trying to get the Gravitic Flux lined up. Um, so we've changed to D.Va. D.Va's also not great because we're not gonna get, like, a huge amount of value out of, um, Defense Matrix, which is most of the reason to pick D.Va, to be honest. Um, we didn't manage to eat that. Uh, oh, pretty good Earth Shatter counter right there. We're still going to die regardless, but he sure did get that Reinhardt. Um, like, we can get some value because we can eat Symmetra's Orbs, Fire Strike, Moira's Orbs. You know, that's all cool. Maybe we can eat Zarya's Ultimate. Honestly, I w it's, it's a difficult choice because it's like... Winston is like pretty good, but then there's also a Torbjorn in there that's gonna make that really inconvenient. I would probably go with Arissa or Roadhog, personally, right here. Just basically to try and make it, like, you can either try and pick them off, because they're playing pretty aggressively, so Metro's spending a lot of time out in the open which is uh, easy to punish with Roadhog, of course, and, some, and then um, Arissa just help us like walk through the door a little bit better, you know? Um, because D.Va, uh, the defense matrix value is fairly limited for what we're gonna get. Uh, we just used Nanoblade, by the way, which is why they just folded over like that, because Nanoblade is, of course, an incredible ultimate that will win you games. We're gonna change to Winston. Yes, okay. Winston's fine. There's, there's a Torbjorn over there, which does make it inconvenient. But as long as we, like, acknowledge they have a Torbjorn and just play around him, it's not the end of the world. Like, you can play Winston against, like, Reaper, and it's not the end of the world as long as you acknowledge there's a Reaper over there and you do your best to just avoid doing stuff next to Reaper, you know? So, uh, Toes is on to us. Committing to that pathway at that point, like, was always gonna make us take a lot of damage. Like, Toes knows we're up here, there's no, unless we're going to use our shield coming out of this doorway, there's no way we get out of this without losing, like, a couple hundred health, basically, because Toes does, like, pretty good damage. We get hit by the rock, which is, of course, inconvenient. Like, committing hard to that path is always going to result in us taking damage, which just means we're going to have to get out sooner once we arrive. When Toes looking at me like that, and I got nothing but, like, this tiny little narrow doorway for me to get out of, I'm just going to back out and just jump back over the roof again, because, like... I don't want to come. I don't want to dive in as Winston, and then be in at like 300 health, because that means I got like 150 I can comfortably work with before I gotta leave again. You know, you gotta try and avoid taking a very common thing with like dive tanks is that on their way to the dive they will end up taking a bunch of damage, which just means you can't dive properly because you're arriving at half health. You gotta try and mitigate damage you take on your approach. Which sometimes means like, ah, fuck, they're on to me. I just gotta go another way, or I'm gonna take a bunch of damage coming out of here. 
So, uh, not going great right here. We managed to build up our ultimate off of that. Um, Lucio just used his ultimate as well, which is good, you know? Now he doesn't have that for when we engage our next fight. Um, and we've got uh, Nanoblade built up again as well. Oh, we even managed to get Tibblebore right there. All right. A little late on the Primal Rage. This was a good time. Like, as soon as we jump in, we could just, like, immediately pop Primal Rage right now and try and push Lucio and Reinhardt further into our team. And then they're not going to be too pleased about that. By the time we do commit to this, we're actually pushing Lucio away from our team instead of into him. And we're trying to get him, but it's not working now. We're taking a bunch of damage. We just got to jump out again. If we immediately pop Primal Rage, we can try and push Lucio and Reinhardt into our team. But we pop it like a second too late and we're pushing them away instead. So Lucio and Reinhardt end up escaping with their lives. The fight's still not exactly going well for them though, of course, is it now? But... We could have killed them way faster. We could have killed them way faster. Um, probably anyway. You know, Primal Rage is an awkward ultimate to control. You feel me? You feel me. If you played Winston, you know Primal Rage is an awkward ultimate to deal with. Um, there's a, a surprising learning curve to it just because it's, like, really awkward. I wish Primal Rage gave you a third-person camera, to be honest. Because it would make it a way easier to, like, comprehend what's going on around you more than anything else, to be honest. Or at least make it an option. You know, I'm sure some people would prefer to keep it the first-person view. Um, but I personally would way per massively prefer a third-person camera with Primal Rage. Because I have trouble keeping track of everything that's bouncing around me at the time. Um... So anyway, we've got Primal Rage now, and we don't have to push the payload very far, so this is exciting, because we might just be able to push them away from the payload while we push it to the edge. Um, because they're still kind of regrouping, they're not all fully back together yet. Here's the Reaper, we did a good job of dancing around the shield on the Reaper, and he didn't want to fully commit to it. So we end up managing to kill him ba just by ourselves as Winston, so that's nice. We're going to bully around this Lucio a little bit. Even if we don't kill him, this is still good because we're keeping him away from the action. Look how close he is to building up um, Sound Barrier. We did a great job keeping him away. If he was in that fight sooner, then he would have built up Sound Barrier, and who knows what could happen at that point. So even though we didn't kill him, low-key really important we kept him away, because it meant he couldn't get his ultimate in on that fight, which he was really close to, which might have actually made the difference in that final push. So great. Um, so, stood out the most, uh, shield management with Toes, doing a lot of putting it up at low health, basically, is the big thing. Um, not, not doing great management, putting it up at low health, letting it break, using it to, like, sweep mines when we didn't need to. Toes, really punished for bad shield management. Um, Winston, just think about, like, how much damage you're taking on approach more than anything else, because if you're jumping in at half health, you're not, your dive is way less impactful. You gotta mitigate damage you take on the way there as much as possible. This is why legitimate tech for Winston, jump at them, immediately spin around in midair so you fly at them ass first, because then they can't headshot you when you're coming in at them. Legitimate Winston tech, strategic use of your ass. Just like Roadhog. Um, but Roadhog's not jumping at you, of course. That would be terrifying. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord and ask questions more directly and have a conversation about them, or just ship posts with us. I've started streaming on Twitch. Um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 8 p.m. EST to 11 EST. There's a link to the channel in the description. If you managed to make it all the way through the video and somehow still enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe for more content of middling quality in the future. And I hope you found the video helpful. Oh, I almost forgot. Jesus Christ.